Um, well, I felt like I was seeing things pretty well the whole game. Um, coverages, fronts, uh, routes downfield. But, uh, you know, when I walked back into the locker room, obviously I looked myself in the mirror and, you know, I have to try to be perfect every day, every practice, every game. Uh, you know, I had a few missed throws, um, but the name of the game is to just play the next play. And, uh, you know, we just have to continue to play. Travis uh, made uh, a lot of big, you know, catches and plays for us uh, early on. And uh, his presence out there, his leadership, his height, you know, over the middle um, definitely helps a lot. His um, catch radius with his long arms definitely helps for sure. But, um, but you know, when, when guys go down, we just have to stay positive and uh, everyone has to be prepared to play every game um, and every snap. So um, Travis knows better than anyone that, uh, you know, the next man up mentality is kind of what we need to take on. Um, you know, I'll be all right. Uh, just one of those things where you make a, you know, you plant your foot in the ground and I don't know, you roll your ankle and just just a little ankle thing. But I'll be I'll be fine. Um, I'll I'll be fine. I feel great. Uh, like I told you guys before, I don't. I think pressure is really an outside influence. Um, you know, just staying calm and staying poised is the name of the game, especially at quarterback. And uh, you know, a lot of guys on the sideline look look towards me and look look to Travis. You know, we're leaders of the offense, leaders of the team. And uh, you know, if you just stay poised and stay positive and try to remain unfazed as much as possible. You know, I didn't first quarter through the fourth quarter. I didn't really feel like that. Um, that you know, I didn't let anything get to me. Um, and I, I, like I said, I felt fine. Um, but at the end of the day, I mean, we have to win the turnover battle. We have to be able to run the ball and uh, stop the run. You know, that's the name of football, especially in the Big Ten. So like I said, I mean, I'm going to look myself in the mirror, and um, we all have to get better from players to coaches to support staff. Hey, what did you see on those um, that was a crazy play. Um, it was third down, and, uh, you know, I was just trying to make a play. So I was actually running out to the left. Uh, my first few reads were uh, not open, and then I think I had a little bit of pressure. So I tried to run left, and I was actually going to run for the first down. I saw the d uh, defense alignment was overrunning it a little bit, and then um, I saw the, the DBs kind of were looking looking at me. Their eyes were in the backfield, so I knew if I could just buy some time, I, I was going to reverse field and actually go all the way to the other side of the field. And then I saw uh, Isaiah go deep, and he, he actually threw his hands up about three or four times. I just wanted to make, I saw him for for a second. I just wanted to make sure that nobody was behind him, that they can intercept it. So once I saw him, I just stuck my foot in the ground and just made a play. Travis, Travis what goes through your mind right now as a captain? Mm -hmm. uh, as someone who's, yeah, who's charged with leading this team? Yeah, um, you know a lot. Uh, just being able to tell my teammates, you know, this is not going to determine how our season goes. Um, being able to move on to the next game, you know, there's nothing we can do about it now. Um, you know, we're lucky enough on the offensive side to have great, you know, there's other great leaders who aren't captains, Casey being one of them, um, who are there to assist me and really, you know, talk to the offense and, and let them know that, uh, you know, things are going to be fine, um, that the world's not over, the world isn't burning down, um, you know, it's it's one game. Um, unfortunately, it didn't turn out how we wanted it to do or wanted it to be, so we got to move on from this one and, you know, focus on next week. Uh, you know, you know, Northwestern's a physical football team. Um, you know, I, I thought our, our line played well. Um, you know, we always say the most physical team's going to win. Um, so, you know, I, I I think, you know, the whole Northwestern defense was physical and, you know, they attacked everything. They're a great defense. And, uh, you know, it just unfortunately it didn't go our way. Casey, that's a tough ask at the four-yard line. That's a Yeah, I mean, it was like two two minutes and 20 seconds on the clock, zero timeouts. They gave us the ball in the four-yard line, so I was like, okay, 96-yard drive. Here we go. You know, let's go. I told everybody on the sideline, we're good. You know, the zero timeouts, obviously, is hard to manage and go 96 yards. You don't – You do. we do two-minute drill every week, you know, almost every practice. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I was just approaching it like practice. The, the key – um, in football and in life, and especially at quarterback, is you can't you can't try to get too rattled. You don't want to get too up and don't want to get too down. So, I just try to stay poised during that moment. But 
Um, I have full confidence and belief that we can drive the, drive the ball 90 yards, 80 yards. I mean, we really moved the ball, especially the whole first half. We, we moved the ball most of the game. Um, I mean, our first punt came in like the third quarter or something like that. So, I mean, we got down inside the 10-yard line almost on every drive. We got in the red zone. Um, and like I said, we just hurt ourselves, you know, with turnovers and, um, you know, a couple mistakes, missed throws by me, a few drops. Um, but like I said, I didn't really feel like that um, that we were getting down on ourselves or struggling. We have to stay positive. And I know we can move the ball down the field. And it's like Travis said, it's just to get everybody to buy in and believe that uh, we can win the game and that we're going to move the ball down the field and uh, make more plays than they did. But like Travis said, I mean, we got to give Northwestern credit. They were more physical than us um, throughout the whole game. And they just kept fighting and kept swinging no matter what the score was. And, um, you know, I was actually impressed with how well that they tackled and swarmed to the football. Um, and, uh, you know, when I hand the ball off, I have to carry out my fakes. But when I turn around and there's eight to nine players at Northwestern, you know, rallying to the football and making tackles, uh, I thought they did a pretty good job of that today. You got Garrett Nelson joining them, and we'll have about three or four more minutes before Northwestern gets in. Hey, Garrett, um, can you and the coach talk a little bit about the line of scrimmage battle and when feeling like you guys did not dominate that and what, what maybe you wanted? What did you see out there and how you rectified that? Uh, yeah. Uh, definitely got to watch film, but um, definitely a couple of plays that we saw that seemed like uh, you know we were a yard or two behind uh, our line of scrimmage. And they were pushing us, and um, several in several plays in the series. Um, and these, you know, I don't really, I don't have a magical answer besides uh, you know that just can't happen. It's not how you win Big Ten football. Um, like I said, we'll watch film. Um, see what see what's happening. See what we need to do. See what we need to fix. Um, you know that's as on on me as a leader of the defensive line. Um, you know me and Caleb getting uh, getting us right on the edge, getting us right on the interior. We have a lot more games left. Um, one loss, one game doesn't define what we've. You know the months of work and preparation and things we've done as leaders and as a team um, to derail what what we know we can be. Um, it's hard to see that right now because obviously emotions are pretty high and still really fresh. Um, like I said, take a day, watch film um, as a leader. Got to keep everybody heads up. You know I'm not doing a good job myself right now, but. Um, letting everybody know what type of team we are and how close we are together. We're going to be fine. Okay. All right. Thank you.